Roxanne, and, and this is Johnny, and I'm going to be doing a little zombie face on him. I'm going to start by using regular Elmer's glue to glue his eyebrows down, so that way they won't get in the way of any other things I might apply on it. I'm trying to get them as flat on the skin as possible. To build the dead skin that I want to go around the eye, you put latex around the eye as big as you want the scar to be, and then put a layer of tissue, let that sit a little bit, and then put another layer until you want it, you have it as thick as you want it to be. Rip away all the excess tissue. It probably helps to have the tissues already cut up for you. <laughs> um, the latex dries pretty quickly. I'm going to put a little bit of powder on that as well. Also, when you're when you're doing the zombie makeup, I would recommend you cover the ears as well. It kind of throws me off when when I see a white face and pink ears. I'm gonna do make a little scar coming from the mouth. Rigid collodion. It's supposed to get dry and pull the skin towards the center and make the the scar look realistic. And then I could build a scar around it so it'll look deeper. I'm gonna start building the socket. The best thing to do is uh, keep your hands moist. That way the wax won't stick to your fingers. I'm just gonna kinda try to make this a little higher, the skin a little more elevated out here. Um, I'm just gonna press the out, outside to kind of uh, um, blend it into the skin. It's very easy to mold this wax while it's wet, so I, the slightest pressure you apply will change the shape of it. It's really weird. Um, the black will add depth to the to the scar, make it look like it's pretty deep in there. I'm gonna use black shadow to start making his eye look a little bit sunken. Just gonna go in with my fingers and kind of give it a little red purple color. Um, I'm gonna start painting the rest of the face, kind of make it look a little bit dirty. Not just dirty, but bruised up. And I am going to make shadows. I like to aim for underneath scars or uh, kind of makes them look a little more elevated too. I'm going to color this brown and I'm on the outside I'm actually going to put a little bit of yellow and green so that way it could look a little bit bruised up and purple. I love purple. I love using purple on these scars. I kind of try to find a loose end that I could start from. And it just, it's really uh, stretchy. It allows you to to be kind of rough with it. And just, it's not real sensitive. And the, what you want to do is you want to, just like the scar over here, you want to make it look a little deep. So um, you're going to have to cover it in black. Also, um, Try to get it underneath the, the tissue. I got the stage blood number 152. It's pretty thick. Um, I like it because it doesn't roll down the face too fast. I'm not going to try to be clean with it. I'm going to be getting the outside of the skin. Um, the inside, all the little flaps, I would recommend that you press them against the skin so not only it picks up the blood but it picks up the black. Oh,